Hey y'all, welcome back to Armsby Farm. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe and food away from my mouth. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and I'm heading in to Nutcracker rehearsal. It's day three of Vlogmas 2023. So I'm gonna try and take you along to some of the rehearsals and the costumes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but also I'm gonna be showing a little bit of the cinnamon rolls again on this video because y'all have asked for the recipe. So I am going to do that. I'm gonna get ready for church tomorrow because um, we have a big Advent Lessons and Carols. Um, so stick with me, y'all, and it's time for day three. Ho, ho, ho. All right, y'all, getting close to um, rehearsal. Don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show, so y'all bear with me with the video. It may not have sound, it may. Who knows? But I'm gonna try to show as much as I can. Um, if you are in the Sparta, Middle Georgia area, our performances are December 8th, December 9th, and December 10th. So definitely check out my Facebook page and there will be the link where you can get tickets. Um, if you are not, but still want to watch it, I will be getting a link of the live performance and I will be posting it on my community page. So that during the holiday season, you're able to tune in to the Nutcracker um, of us here in our small little town. So... Let me figure out where I'm going because today is the first rehearsal that we are doing um, at the, the auditorium and I'm excited because it's like a first kind of dress through two so I have to be in both of my costumes today so it should be interesting so we'll see how much footage I can get y'all. Y'all, downtown Milledgeville is so pretty especially the tree they have a, a tree here in downtown Milledgeville that's so beautiful and adorable um so it's so pretty I just wanted to show y'all that while I was driving through here y'all I had to get some bright pink sneakers for the mama ginger roll and goodwill came through now I think I'm gonna bedazzle them I don't know for sure what do y'all think leave it in the comments Yep, y'all, I wasn't able to show you much. I'm gonna show a little bit here that I was able to kind of sneak my phone in. Um, but rehearsal went good. Now speeding back over to Sparta and we're gonna do some last minute cinnamon rolls and French toast loaves. And I got requests to do the recipe on um, in the comments. So I'm gonna do it for the cinnamon rolls. So once we get home, I'm going to change and we are going to get cinnamon rolls going. All right, y'all, well, it's getting dark um, and it's already getting dark in the chicken coop. I came to get my eggs. They're still laying pretty good. And I wanted to show you on this vlog before we go to cinnamon rolls, how everything is looking. So we'll start over. I'm so excited because y'all know this green one, uh, my Easter egg angel started laying yesterday yesterday was her first egg today her second egg so she has joined the girls the, the my easter eggers are the ones that i'm going to incubate next year for more laying hens because as much as the bantam eggs are cute i don't know if i if i really want more bantams and gloriana who lays the medium like beige egg She's mean as dirt to Andy, the rooster. So he probably won't even breed her. He's probably like, nah, she crazy, bruh. She crazy. But let me turn y'all around. Everyone's in for the night, but Andy and Angel, my Easter eggers. The camera hogs. Big Daddy. Hey, Big Daddy. And Princess. Yes, I'm not going to miss you. Say hello, Princess. That's my pretty girl. And then my three gangsters over here. We got Gloriana and Midnight, Coco, and Lord knows what Blondie's doing back there. They're all like, all right, bye, you're loud, we're trying to sleep, it's getting dark. So yeah, everybody's doing good. I just like to double check, make sure everybody's locked up for the night. Even though you can tell the whole chicken coop is enclosed. 
still, I want to make sure that predators can't outsmart me. <laughs> Sometimes that's not hard to do. But, ooh, I'm going to close this door with these eggs. Hold on, be back. All right, there we go. It's so funny because this really, it's right now it's 420-ish, but it starts to get dark. And especially up in this chicken coop because of the dark tin roof, it gets real dark. I'm thinking about putting some lights in there. Um, so egg process, you know, egg uh, eggs can get come all year, but sometimes I want to give the girls a rest. And this is their first year, so I'm going to let them lay and do their thing thing. Um, but I may look into doing uh, lights. I'm definitely looking into doing a couple uh, solar panel fans in there because it does get very hot in there. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I'm happy. Eggs, and let's go start on some cinnamon rolls. All right, y'all, I'll leave the, the recipe in the bio box below, but I am gonna do it with you on this video too. So I have a tablespoon of yeast and a half a cup of sugar. And what I like to do is do the half, uh, one and a half cups of uh, warm water. See, I just turn my tap water onto the hottest that it will go. And this is well water, so it's filtered water. All right, so this is a half cup. So we have one. Two. Three. All right, I'm going to stir this up and we're going to let it sit for a minute. All right, y'all see it starting to foam. Foam and bubble, yeah, foam and bubble. Now it's time to add in, we're adding in an egg, six tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of salt, and four and a half cups of flour. And I'm gonna get that all mixed up and get the dough resting because we're gonna let it rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. But I wanna show you how the foaminess looks. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera. Alrighty, on a lightly floured surface, we're gonna turn it out and we're gonna knead it. And this is a sticky dough, so. This will integrate into the, the dough, but if it is sticky, don't you worry, honey, because they're going to come together. We're just going to knead it, knead it into the flour. Adding flour as we need it, because you, you want it to be a firm, soft dough, but you don't want it to be sticky after this. I probably don't want to see me kneading the whole time. Um, I'll be back. All right, y'all see? Soft, but not sticky. It's sexy, it's fabulous. Sorry, y'all. But now I'm gonna let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna roll it out. So I'm gonna show you once I roll it out. All right, so I forgot to show you as I was doing it, but there's the final products that are resting now. It's really humid in here, so the dough is a lot more sticky than normal, but I will show you in the corner of this video right here, um, the short that shows me rolling it out and rolling it up and spreading the cinnamon sugar mixture out and all that good stuff. So, yep, here we go. Now we let it rest for an hour. They just got out, they look delicious. Alrighty, so we're about to uh, end with chapter three from the book of Luke. And I wanna just prep y'all for tomorrow's video. So when this video comes out, it will be Sunday. Um, and I will leave on my community page our live link to our church's Advent Lessons and Carols service. Um, it's the beginning of the Christmas season service that we have at our church. So if you would like to watch it live, head over to the community page and click that. But I also will shoot some from it tomorrow. And then Monday, I will have the pre-recorded version um, on the community page. So you can check that out. But y'all, that was the cinema rolls.
I showed y'all a little bit from the Nutcracker. You're gonna be seeing a lot more from the Nutcracker because all next week is our performances and final rehearsals. Um, so, here we go. Let's go ahead and get into chapter three of the Book of Luke. Y'all be blessed. Alrighty, y'all, and here's a couple verses from chapter three, and this is John's testimony concerning Christ, 15 through 17. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptized you with the water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and will gather the wheat into his garner. But the shaft he will burn with fire unquenchable. Y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful morning. I'm coming home.